All right, so we got Carrot. This is voice actors for Until Dawn's got to video. Oh my god, I just hit the mic crazy hard. Isn't this like the original like old death song? Oh snap! You have to accept this in order to move forward. <laughs> we got the replacer. If you guys don't know, uh, <laughs> he's playing the replacer for uh, for Call of Duty. To the future. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? This was Beth? I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Wait, she voiced both? Wait, wait, what? Wait, really? Wow, my bad. I didn't mean to pause it. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know that. I'm so dumb. I didn't know that. My bad, y'all. I know. You're all okay, I know. Yeah, I know him. And I know it's going to be tough. He's from uh, iRobot, right? After what happened last year. But I just want you all to know. It means so much to me that we're doing this. We're here for you. Really. Whatever. Man, I had the biggest crush on her since... Man, listen. When I was younger, bro. Man, I had the biggest crush on her. Let me tell you. Whatever you need. Whenever. We're all gonna make it through this. Uh, I don't think so. This is super awkward. Wait, Jordan know. Fisher? Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Guys, we're I all know this guy. Here, right? I know him. Fine, let's just a little harmless fun. <laughs> Mike and M split. Oh my goodness gracious! What's her name? Megan Martin. Oh, Megan Martin, you are fine as wine. I did not know. Whoa. <laughs> Is she a model? We gotta look her up after this video. Okay? We're together. She gotta be a model or something. Actually, M's out, I'm in. Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. No, she's not. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. If you can hear this, we all... Oh my goodness, yo, yo, what's up with these, yo, yo, every, why is everybody like, why is everybody like, like, like model worthy? Like, what's going on? Like, yo, hey, what's her name? Gal Galadriel? Galadriel? Steinman? Yo, look at her eyes, bro. Like, why is she staring at me like that? She kind of got me blushing. Oh, I want to apologize for what happened. I'm here to tell you <laughs> what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. Uh oh. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. Hey, that's what I said. That's what I said. They wanted to do some type of like family reunion. Who we introducing? Who we introducing? Like they 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 wanted to do some type of like family reunion and all this and all that, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. If two sisters died in a cabin, I'm not returning. I'm sorry, bro. You'll never catch me coming back to this. I don't know how crazy you guys are, but that's absolutely diabolical. And it was y'all fault. Even though, let's keep it real, even though they ran off into like, you know, into the, you know, um, snowy, scary woods or whatever, it is y'all fault, technically. It is your fault. You know, y'all was trying to play some type of stupid prank like it was, you know, 2009 YouTube, and then, you know, y'all made the girl run away, y'all hurt her feelings, and then, of course, you know, her sister's going to go after her sister, you know, because, you know, just to see if she's safe or not. Um, it's y'all fault. It's literally y'all fault. And I don't think, and listen. Maybe it's me, but I don't think Josh should get the blame for that at all. Yeah, cool. Like, you know, he pranked everybody for what? Like, you know, he pranked everybody. He got back at everybody. But to be honest with you, I see why he got back at everybody. Because y'all did the same thing to his sisters. So, you know, the fact that... I mean, and here's the thing, though. I don't think Josh knew about, like, the whole Wendigo thing or whatever. But I, listen, I'll, I'll explain that in a whole, another, in a whole like, uh, another video. But I don't think Josh should get the blame for any of that. Um, yeah, but these were the actors and, um, or sorry, the voice actors and like the facial actors, I guess, uh, for Until Dawn. If you guys actually don't know, this guy right here is actually, um, he's in the, um, in the Replacer series for Call of Duty. It's like, if you guys know what the, the Replacer series is, he's basically like doing like a bunch of like little short, like hype up trailers for the game. Uh, he's basically like replacing real people's jobs as like they're playing Call of Duty and stuff like that. It's a real funny, like little gig thing that Call of Duty is doing. So, uh, shout out to Call of Duty for that. Uh, other than that, man, uh, the Until Dawn remake, uh, I heard, like, a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some people thought it was, like, really good. Some people thought it was, like, oh, well, this is pointless or whatever. You know, which is, you know, th that comes with any other game, movie, etc. Um, I thought it looked really good. Um, it definitely gave, like, a scary movie vibe to it. I think it's more of, like, a scary movie than an actual video game, which is 
which is kind of good because, you know, I don't really watch a lot of scary movies. So um, this is definitely the exception. It, it definitely gave off scary movie vibes, scary movie vibes for this Until Dawn remake. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about the Until Dawn remake? I want your honest opinion, by the way. And uh, see you guys next time out. And 